I swear this is a screwdriver. It is not what you think it is. This is the wow stick. 69 pieces. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. I am Chad and today we're gonna take a look at this gadget here. This is the wow stick. Nurk's screwdriver that you've seen in some of his videos. I picked it up off a of Piraflip RC. I think it's like 41, 42 bucks or something like that. They also have it on Amazon for Amazon Prime. I will put a link down in the description if you're interested in picking this up or any other items down there that you might want and hook me up a little bit on the channel. Now guys, I usually use this Milwaukee with my MIP bits. I use these MIP drivers. And then I have just a selection of stuff like Iwata, Wiwa, generic bits, the ethics tool set, stuff like that. So there's a lot of different ways to do this and all these tools pretty much have a place. So here we go, here is the wow stick and this thing is uh, pretty impressive as far as the packaging and everything goes. Kind of makes you feel like you're buying an Apple product um you've got all kinds of instructions and all that kind of good stuff inside of here um also like this little like uh build mat type of thing it's like a magnetic thing to like hold on to your bits so that's a pretty nice little touch and then let's see here these are the bits I guess the first thing you would want to take a look at is the actual wow stick itself. And, you know, it's nothing special as far as you can see. And from Nurk's video, it's got a little light on there. Uh, the torque and the power, you know, you're not going to torque down anything super crazy with this thing. But I guess it's just because of the convenience factor and everything. Like I showed you the other tools that I have. Sometimes when you're using big power drivers and bits and everything like that, it gets uh, a little bit crazy and things just kind of get in your way. We've got three boxes of bits here that pretty much could have anything that you would ever want. They're, again, just super nicely packaged. You can see that they're in individual, um, kind of like rotating type of things. And you can just keep them in these tubes or whatever if you want. When I first got it and opened this up, I thought this was like the charger. Uh, but actually what it is, is uh, just kind of holds your screwdriver. I'm not really sure what the whole point of that is, but that's from the best I can tell all that it actually does. Inside this box here, we've got cables. We've got all kinds of little things in here. I'm not even 100% sure what most of this stuff. Right, we got some extra little screws. We've got like a rubber band of some sorts. We've got a suction uh, key ring in case you need to keep it and from losing it. Um, we've got a magnetizer, which is really cool. So that way you can magnetize your bits if you don't have a magnet laying around the house. Charging cord. And then inside of here, we actually have a carrying case, which, uh, man, these guys really uh, like to make things look uh, funky. Um, magnetic and what you could do is you can put one driver in there and then one tube of bits the favorite ones that you might use pop it in the case and that's it like you're good to go so nice convenient package for quick repairs out in the field so what do you guys think useful gimmicky i'm not 100 percent sure yet I will be using it and maybe I'll just kind of drop a line in one of my videos uh, from time to time to let you know. But I think uh, using the little screws like on toothpick builds and stuff like that, that'll work out pretty nice to have something, you know, to uh, put your motors on and stuff like that. When I saw him doing that in his videos, I thought, huh, that would be pretty useful again, instead of trying to take my big, you know, Milwaukee driver or whatever and try to, yeah, I just need to stop now. 
anyway guys thanks a lot for stopping by link in the description if you want to pick one up and support the channel we'll talk to you later